Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can actually record a training video using just Microsoft PowerPoint. You don't need to have any special screen capture software or video editing software in order to start making training videos today using this feature. In this video, what we're gonna do is actually record ourselves delivering a PowerPoint presentation slide by slide and then create an MP4 video file out of it. Once you have that video file, you can upload it to YouTube, an LMS system, your company internet, really anywhere that you wanna post your training video. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our PowerPoint presentation and we are going to enable the recording tab. So if you don't already have this enabled, all you have to do is come up to anywhere on your ribbon and right click and select Customize Ribbon. And this will open the Customize Ribbon tab and scroll down and make sure that you have this recording tab, the box checked. It's not checked by default, so you do have to come out here and check it if you've never done so. So be sure and make and check that box and then click OK. And that places the recording tab up here on your PowerPoint and you can come up and access all of the features of the recording tab. I have another video that explains how to use the screen recording feature that allows you to actually capture a video that you can embed and place onto one of your slides and you can play that video for your audience during your presentation. So be sure and check out that video. But the features that we're going to use today is actually how to record your delivered presentation as a video file. And to do that, we're going to come up here and select record slideshow. But before we do that, let's enhance our our presentation so that we can include some animations and various things as we're delivering our PowerPoint. So to do this, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate my slide. I'll end up deleting this slide later, but I want to keep it since I already have my notes on it and it captures the bullets and things that I know I want to say. So I'm going to duplicate the slide and it keeps the same background and formatting and creates a brand new slide that I can work off of. And I'm going to totally delete the, the bullets, the, the content out of the slide by selecting it. I come up, I select it, and I um, click my mouse on the border there that will select the whole thing and I can hit delete. And then I'm going to select where it says click to add text if this is a PowerPoint template then you can also delete to clear out the contents on that slide and just hit delete and it will clear that out. So now I have a clean slate here and I'm going to go and do a screen capture that I'm going to place onto the slide and then add some animations onto it. So I'm going to come down here where I have my time off request form filled in and I'm going to go ahead and do a screen capture of this image. I'm going to be using the Microsoft snipping tool, which I happen to have pinned down in my taskbar. If you don't have that um, pinned onto your taskbar for you, you can come over here and type search and simply type start typing snipping tool um, and it will pop up and you can select it from there. All right, I'm going to just going to come over here. And I'm going to select a new snip. Now, what I want to do, though, what I know I want to do is I want to capture a drop down in my snip. So I'm going to set a delay over here. I'm going to say a delay of about three seconds. That's going to give me time to come over here to this drop down that I know I want to activate and catch a snip of. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new and it's going to give me a three second delay, which gives me time to come over here and activate the pop the drop down menu that I want to capture. And so now I'm going to just select the area that includes the drop down and it creates a picture for me and I'm just going to copy that and come back over into my PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to right click and paste that picture in here. And I can size this down to fit onto my PowerPoint slide. Maybe I want to keep it large but size it down just a little bit. Okay, now I, what I want to do is I know that my talking points down here are explaining to the managers how they're going to approve time off by checking the appropriate box and then um, selecting their name from the drop down and then hitting enter and then um, by emailing the form to payroll. So I'm going to create three animations that will draw the audience's attention to these items as I'm describing them in the video. So I'm going to come up here to the insert tab and I'm going to select shapes 
and I'm gonna draw an arrow. So I select the arrow button and you come over here and you can just drag and drop your mouse and draw an arrow. You can then place that arrow wherever you want it to be placed. You can drag it with your mouse and you can use your arrow buttons to get it just where you want it. And once you're ready to format it, you can right click and select format shape. This will open up a little window on the right hand side that allows you to edit how you want to format the shape. And let's say I want to change the fill color to a different color. Let's say we want it to be purple. Uh, we can include a drop shadow as well. Come over here to shadow um, and then select a shadow that makes it pop off the screen a little bit. And we want to animate this um, so that it flies in at the specific time when we click our mouse and say a certain line that we want to check this box. So that's when we want to draw the attention. So we're going to have it fly in when we click our mouse. And so we're going to select animations and we have our arrow selected and we're going to click fly in. And that's going to automatically fly in from the bottom and that's what we want. So we'll leave that just like that. And we are going to let that start on the click. So it won't automatically play during the presentation, but it should be on the click that we can do that. And so we can click it when we're ready for it to, um, to animate. I'm going to select my arrow and then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste and I'm going to drag it over here and then I'm going to uh, click on this here where I can rotate and turn it the other way and then I'm going to drag it up here and point to the drop down menu so that when I'm ready to explain where they need to go to access the drop down menu that that will fly in as well. Now in this one, I have this selected. I want to change that to fly in from a different direction. I don't want it to fly in from the bottom, but so I'm going to come up to the effect options and I want this one to fly in from the right. So I'm just going to select that and now that one will fly in from the right when I click my mouse. The last thing I want to mention on this slide is for viewers to where to send this form when, once it's completed and they want to send the completed form to payroll. So I'm going to come back up to insert and I'm going to insert, uh, this time I'll insert a different shape and maybe I'll draw that shape down here. And I can resize that so that all of my text fits. I can hit the space so that becomes a hyperlink. I can format this the same way. If I want to format this shape, I can come over and change the fill. Maybe I want it to be a different color. And I can also put a shadow on that as well. And I want to move it down just a little bit so it's not covering up anything. And let's come up to the animation. And instead of having this one fly in, we'll just have this one appear. And now that's listed as our third animation. So now that we've made all of our animations, let's go ahead and record our presentation. I'm going to go ahead and delete the slide that we're no longer going to use. And I'm going to come back up and select our first slide. Now let's go back up to our recording tab and click on record slideshow. We're going to record from beginning and that'll record from the first slide in your PowerPoint presentation. This opens up into your recording area and up here you can click on notes and this will display your presenter notes for you, which is very handy. So if you're going to be recording your video and you want to read the notes, the presenter notes that you have on the slide, you can select this. It won't show up. It's not going to record exactly what's on your screen. It's only going to record your the slides as you're talking to them. So you can absolutely have this visible while you're recording and it won't show up on your actual recorded presentation. So that's a nice feature. Um, you also have different settings up here that you can take advantage of. Uh, you've got a clear button where um, the, the way this works is it you can deliver your entire presentation, go slide to slide to the next slide and record all of your content and information. And then if you need to go back to a particular slide that maybe you don't like how it turned out or you need to change it, you can go back and clear the recording on just that one slide. So this is a great feature because it allows you to go back and edit a particular slide very easily without having to redo the entire thing. 
You also have lots of features down at the bottom that you can take advantage of. These are animations that you can use during your presentation. And if you use these, it will get recorded for your presentation. So you actually have a laser pointer that you can use if you select that. And as you're talking, it will record your laser pointer for you. You can come down, you can highlight things as you're talking. You can select a color and actually highlight different things as you're uh, talking about them and use those different features and it will actually record that for you. So if you you can practice and rehearse your your recording before you do it and so you have a good sense of the pace and timing and how you might want to use some of those features. Also down here at the bottom, you'll notice you have a couple of buttons. Uh, right now I have my webcam turned off. If you turn this on, you'll notice I have my webcam covered up, but if I have my webcam open, you can actually record yourself on your video as well. It'll show up in the bottom right-hand corner of your slide, and you can record using your computer's webcam. I'm gonna turn mine off for this video. It's just a quick video training vignette for managers, and so I don't need to record myself for this. So I'm gonna check this box down here to turn off the webcam recording. I could also turn off the microphone if I'm not gonna record audio. So if it's simply, you might be recording something that you're gonna set to music or something like that, you can also turn off the microphone as well. But I'm gonna record my speaker notes as I go through this presentation. So once you're ready, go ahead and click on the record button. It'll count down and then it'll start recording. I'm gonna read my notes up here. Welcome to the Manager Toolkit for how to request, approve, or reject time off. To approve or reject time off, simply check the appropriate box on the time off request form. Sign your name by selecting it from the drop down and then click enter. Submit the form to payroll by emailing it to payroll at xyz.com. Now I'm done recording, so I'm going to hit stop. All right, so again, if I needed to go back, if I don't like how I did one of those slides or I need to go back, I can simply um, go back to that particular slide using my arrow buttons and I can clear the contents of just that slide or I can start over and do it over again. Let's go ahead and close out of this editor area and it's gonna take us back into PowerPoint. Now I'm gonna come up here and click on export to video. And you have a couple of options here that you can select. You can export it as a 1080p or a 4K. I'm just gonna use the 1080p. And I'm gonna click on Create Video. I'm gonna use uh, the default. I'm gonna use, record, um, use recorded timings and narrations on my uh, video and then click on Create Video. I'm gonna save the video file. And now let's check out the video. Now it may take several minutes for your video to render, so I can see over here on my desktop, if I hover over it, it says that the sync is pending, so I'm gonna wait for it to finish up. Okay, so let's click on it and play. Welcome to the Manager Toolkit for how to request, approve, or reject time off. To approve or reject time off, simply check the appropriate box on the time off request form. Sign your name by selecting it from the drop down, and then click Enter. Submit the form to payroll by emailing it to payroll at xyz.com. All right, so there's our recorded video from PowerPoint. Now to make this video, I used the built-in microphone that comes with my laptop and I could have used my webcam as well. But if you are going to be doing videos like this on a regular basis and you want them to be more professional and for your users to have a little bit of a better experience, I highly recommend using a professional microphone and you can even use something like a Cam Link 4 that might turn a DSLR camera into your webcam for you. I have links to all the gear that I use uh, to make Make my videos in the description below the video so if you're interested definitely expand that description and check out those links if you found this video helpful be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time i post a new video be sure and visit my website sharonsmithhr.com thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time